Yo, 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 King Erna coming to you live and direct. I wanted to explain to everybody about the streets real fast. I just wanted to give you guys some understanding of how I, you know, it's clear that no one understands that they're never going to be people, especially in this time of this era, that will be successful from the drug game. The reason why is, have you taken time out to look back at other groups, or individuals? I mean, a lot of people haven't ever took time out to look at the fact that black mafia, they was organized with a different mindset. The reason why they was organized with a different mindset is because their goal was to get the hoods and the communities together correctly. Now, of course, there may have been some violent things that went on, but a lot of people don't understand that they had to go to war with the mafia and everything, man. This wasn't like no small group of black men that just came off of a corner that was selling drugs. They had brains. But more than anything, you know, and I'm not making nothing that got to do with the streets cool. I'm just allowing, giving up the, the hock, the truth of the fact of the matter about these OGs, these members of black mafia. They was super sturdy. They had honor and tech and they go. The reason why I say they had honor and tech in a positive way also, because they did help out the communities. You just don't know or pay attention. See, those times the politicians done what they told them to do, bottom line. And this time, the street dudes, they don't even have an attachment to politics. They don't even have the understanding of that. All they want to do is just sell the drugs to be cool. And some of them that's not selling drugs to be cool, you can't tell they're even selling drugs because they're selling drugs to make sure their family eat. And eventually, one day, I'm pretty sure if all of them haven't stopped selling drugs already, because listen, let me, let, me, let me give you an understanding of why I say that. A lot of people have been tuning into the Honor Your Life campaign. A lot of people have been understanding me lately because they didn't understand. But once they saw certain individuals shouting me out and saying different things, they grasped it. And I'm saying this, that I am the spokesperson for the community. When it comes down to the youngins, I am that individual. Because guess what? I'm now taking it to a whole other broader level. I'm now giving everybody an understanding. And the reason why Sam Christian, all those big time guys that was at Black Mafia were successful and what they done, because there was negative, right? They had this stuff going on, but on the other hand, it was positive too. And they had the politicians giving them jobs and things of this nature to be able to help their people get jobs and get in, no matter what was the case. But not this era. They don't have the ability or the honor or the understanding to even go in that direction. They don't even understand that the OG Sam Christian and all them dudes, they had to go to war with the Italians in order to get that respect. They don't understand it. They don't understand it. these are the individuals that solely gave our community food back. You, you don't understand it because you don't know. These are the ones that gave the people jobs, constructions, got them in the union. Believe it or not, a lot of the OGs that was in jail during a lot of time, lifers came home, they came home and because of dudes like Sam Christian and the dudes that was in pocket that was in, you know, running the black mafia or whatever the case may be, gave them jobs. They was able to be successful. So for the ones who saw Cram Sam Christian and them wind up going to jail, you think them OGs didn't look back and show love? They were able to because they said, damn, here it is. I was doing something negative. I come home from the penitentiary. You got these OGs sending me down to the union. Bow, I'm back to working. So although that individual that's back to working don't step foot back into the street life anymore, he still gets a way to make a living for himself. And when the OGs or your friends, the ones that were doing the negative, go to jail, you're able to show some love. You're able to say, thank you for putting me in a positive way. Thank you for leading me in a positive way. Bottom line, that's what it's about. And that's what we're missing. That's the angle I'm coming at this week. I'm coming just like that. I'm coming at the politics. I'm giving them my understanding that we're not coming like Sam Christian was coming. And they should be thankful because all these kids out here don't even have the understanding that, guess what? They robbing each other. They hurting each other.
robbing each other. Why are they robbing each other when the, the, the politicians in their neighborhood got the money to help them? So no one should be robbing no one. Everyone should be trying to figure out how they can help one another. I got to give a major, major love and shout out to Cheryl Parker. I do because, listen to me, and I, and I want for y'all to understand this. Cheryl Parker honor is in tech. Cheryl Parker needs to get her position in a higher level. Bottom line, these are the individuals that we need to get in position to help us because they don't have a problem with helping us. They don't. And I'm going to rock with Cheryl because at the end of the day, she's the one that checks on the community. When all the nonsense was going on in my old neighborhood, you know what she said? It's funny. It's very funny that once your program stopped, all this happened. She said, we're going for office again. And I need you to stay on point. I need you to continue to be positive. But guess what? King Gurner does his own thing in his own way. Me and politicians that don't want to help our community, they won't be in office because I'm going to see fit to that. I'm going to see fit that all my followers from every social media not follow these individuals. These individuals understand that these children only go through problems in our communities only because they have nothing to do, not a damn thing to do. So they get bored. And a lot of them, their parents are doing what? When they're working in a middle class neighborhood, they're working all night just to pay the bills. And now the children, because the father's not around, because the uncle's not around, the children are left to be amongst each other. And guess what happens? They wind up all getting into some type of mischief and negativity where it's though everybody got to come out their pockets. Why aren't we creating other programs like the Honor Your Life campaign where the mentors are serious, the mentors are hand on, and it's not about, you know, this. It's not about it. It's about the fact that the community is trying to build together. And once we get that, everything will be okay. Because of right now, I don't see the community having a sturdy foundation. It don't. I don't care who you are, where you're from, other neighborhoods, other cities. They tend to come closer than Philadelphia has begin to do. It's somehow, some way, we push each other out of the way of success. You know, and, you know, like my thing, like I always say, man, my thing is not to, to ridicule anyone. My thing is to give you the understanding is honor is the action to loyalty. In order for us to succeed, we have to put things in the correct perspective. If we don't put them in the correct perspective, guess what? The politicians are going to give it to their children and their nieces and their uncles. They're not going to compromise and say, hmm, King Gurner needs to be on the committee. You know why he needs to be on the committee? Because out of every young politician that's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, I got more power than all of them when it comes down to our youngins and our youth. I do. I got more power than them. The reason why I say I got more power than them because there could be something going on and I could just jump in my DM and talk to a child and allow them to understand the wrongs in it and put them right back in position of bettering themselves to the point they'll want to go to that individual and shake a hand. But I can't do it when it's too late. I can't do it when people are already put in bad positions and um, you know people are looking at other people crazy like, man, what the hell, you can't tell me I can do something after what just happened the way it happened. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to start understanding who King Ernest is, really. You know, look past these glob bloggers and individuals that feel as though they have authority to get their name mentioned on my platform. It'll never happen. The reason why it never happened is because a lot of these guys, man, in the world that we live in, took, some hard, took them so many different difficult things to go through in order for them to make it. I'm going to honestly say that I have put all the difficulty on myself. Nothing that I've done difficult, you know, that was difficult, I couldn't accomplish. But when I started doing negativity from a child and then a young adult, it just put me in a worse position. And we hurt ourselves, man. You know, so make sure y'all continue to stay tuned in. Make sure you hit the notification button now so when, I'm, when I say, all right, put up, you'll be able to, oh, it's right there. And 
I apologize. I've been working so hard. I'm working in between homes. And I got a lot of things going on with the schools that I'm, sometimes my, my time is caught up, so I can't post a million and one videos like I usually would, you know what I'm saying? So please take heed to everything that I'm saying. Please understand that honor is the action to loyalty. Go to honorburners.com, grab that CMOS gold. Stop asking King Erna what it is. It's 92 of the 102 minerals your body is made of. You take the raw form of it, it looks hard like oodles and noodles, and you put it inside of a container with a lot of water. Make sure that, that water is spring water. Once it blows up within 24 hours, you're gonna come back, you're gonna see all the sea moss. You take a little bit of it out. You have your mason jar to the side. You put it in there and you put, say if you put this much sea moss in there, right? Well, that's how much water you should fill it up to, too. That way it don't have no space to continue to be loose because other than that, you're going to keep putting sea moss, sea moss, sea moss. And you got to make sure you blend it very good. I use the cheapest blender for it. All the big time blenders don't work for it. You know what I'm saying? I used a $15 blender and I used the, um, the blend part, sometimes the liquid if I want to drink the, the sea moss gold raw, the raw paste, watery. Sometimes I like to do that. So I put a lot of water in it. But to make that paste, Right, put it in that mason jar, refrigerate it so it lock up correctly and real good. And you know what you do? You take a spoonful, a spoonful, and you put it inside your blender. And you mix, I mix with mine's vinegar, the um, Bragg vinegar, and I also mix, um, uh, what is the other stuff I mix? I mix Bragg vinegar, oh, and raw honey. Boom, it's on. After that, you want to notice that people will have high blood pressure. You want to notice that you're not going to have real swollen hands no more. Like, look at my jaws from CMOS. That's from drinking it going down. You know what I'm saying? No matter, they still destroy from that nonsense I used to be into fighting. But at the end of the day, the CMOS will begin to have your blood pressure disappearing because that blood pressure is usually from the way you eat, you know, the salt, your sodium intake your stress levels and stuff like that. So stop stressing, watch what you eat, and, and you know, you'll be good. Me, I can basically eat what I want to eat now, but I don't because I don't like fluctuating with my, um, blood, my, my blood pressure. So, you know, and thyroids is excellent for women with thyroids, overactive or underactive, because it possesses a certain amount of iodine and it produces it itself. Watch out for that fake sea moss that look like it's like this gum. It costs next to nothing online. But the agents have repeated it, repeated it, and repeated it, and remade it, and remade it, to the point where it's though people are getting sick from that nonsense. So stay tuned then, and remember, see Moss Gold. Tell me how you feel about this video in the comments. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at KingGarner1. Make sure you follow my manager page at On Your Life Campaign. And make sure that you hit the link in that bio, live and direct.